do I think Ultra Instinct is a good idea to bring back at the end of the Moro arc? To be honest, no, because I think that since Moro absorbed 7-3, he may copy Goku's Ultra Instinct. So, I would say no. And not to mention, Goku doesn't even want to use Ultra Instinct anymore. He doesn't want to use MUI. So what the hell is Goku going to use? Or or in this case, is Vegeta still going to beat Moro? We still don't know until maybe next month or a couple of months from now. I think maybe... I think I, think I agree with this. Uh, Gitam had, had a point with this. Um... I think that uh, Goku might grab Moro, just like he did the Raditz, and Vegeta is going to use that technique to um, either split Moro, 7-3 Moro apart, or might kill Moro, or whatever. Just like Piccolo used the, the special bean can slash the Mankaku Sapo against Goku and Raditz. That could work. And to be honest, um, and, and also, what I do not want to see is a fucking fusion. I don't want to see fusions. I don't want to see Gogeta. I don't want to see Vegito. Please, no more fucking fusions. Fusions are a bit overrated, in my opinion, at this point. I mean, they're cool, but... What's the use for them coming back? I mean, who knows? Maybe seven three more of my copy, the fusion dance as well. That's just me though. Like, please, no more, no more fusions. And to be honest, I really do not like Moro's design either. His final form looks like fucking Hearts a little bit, and Hearts is another character I don't like from Dragon Ball. Well, except for it's from Dragon Ball Heroes. Some people even say that Moro's final, f well, Moro that absorbed Seven Three looks like a ripoff version of Perfect Cell. I can a little bit see the resemblance as well, but I just, I just want Vegeta to beat Moro. I don't want no fusions. I don't want Goku. I don't want the gods or Zeno or whatever. Make Vegeta beat Moro. Make Vegeta beat Moro.